It's Wash Day Washin. 6.0. With JK18. At Sharky 626's place. You know it. So today what we're doing is we're using Jay's camera on his um, on his special rig that he has set up for it. It has a nice light and it does have a microphone, but the microphone's disconnected at the moment. But that's okay because the lighting is what's going to be needed for this. So today we have a little bit of a different, uh, or let's say a little bit of a change here for you. Normally we wash um, the white bed sheets, but today we're going to be doing something that we we usually do with Jay's. Uh, washers. Today in the Speed Queen, the 2016 Speed Queen, we are going to be washing ourselves a load of towels. Now there's only five towels in there, but the towels we have in this house, if you remember, are pretty thick. So, you know, that's the most you can really fit in there. But it's okay, because there's only three people here most of the time, so those towels are just enough. Is this one not of those too much really, at all. Is this one of those really thick ones? The, um, the green one's not as thick, but the other four are. Okay, out, good. Are. So let me pull one, just so everybody can see. Yeah, sure, you can see the difference. big these towels are. I know, look at this. <laughs> if you have any idea, here, let me hold it up this way. Sure. Just so you can see how big yeah. this towel actually is. I know. It's insanity. This I mean, it's like, great though. It helps you drive off after a drive off. Okay, dry off after a shower and, you know, keeps you warm for a little while. Yeah, this is like a Henry <laughs> Hudson sized towel. <laughs> if you remember his fat ass. He no. puts my 600 pound life to shame. <laughs> I remember that show, or series, whatever you call it. It's still on. They, I don't know if they're just showing reruns or what. I mean, the people are probably all dead by this point, but you know. Uh, most of them are probably. Yeah. I think that's probably okay. Yeah. My like six hundred pound life. How short? It, how short lived it was. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just even these back out again. Okay, good. Uh, all right. So, um, kind of like uh, Jay's. Um, washer videos. This time we're going to be, I'll put the detergent on top and then um, instead of on, on the bottom on the side where the water hits like I normally do and then we will uh, go from there. But first let's get this uh, set up. And you know what, let's have a little change of pace here this time. Let's, uh, let's have Jay kick it off. How's that sound? Good? Yeah, let's do that. Awesome. Alright, so let's turn on the hot and... Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> what is this mess? But luckily this machine uses actual hot water, so we actually don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> now now you now you see Jay, yeah. the guy with the old computers, right? And now I gotta figure out these buttons to press instead of a knob that you actually turn. I know. Luckily this machine isn't quite as bad as most other ones. Right. And what did we figure out? That this machine I can do eighteen loads of laundry with the amount of electricity this uses in a year just sitting here doing nothing right it uses what like like a watt and a half or something when it's off or something, something, yeah, something like that, like that. Yeah, yeah it just it adds up over a year yeah <laughs> all right anyways uh even though like i said i use old computers i'm the techno babble guy i know all the things you didn't know you needed to know so <laughs> i have no problem with this yeah. we'll hit power we're going to do whites Temperature is going to be hot, load size extra large, soil level maximum, and start. There we go. Just that easy, just that simple, bingo bango, and there we are. Beautiful. All right, so as usual, I'm going to use the uh, normal detergent I normally use, which is Jay's favorite, the Tide, of course, right? <laughs> so... And well, you know, I told the story about that. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll get into that as soon as we add it here. Yeah, that looks good enough. So powder then, always. Got to use powder, definitely. So then just put it along. Doo -doo -doo. Let us know in the comments what you think with the light on the camera. Yeah, I'd love to know if you guys uh, actually like the, the, the thing that we're using here. Yeah, because in person it looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. So we'll put the uh, detergent up there. Yep. And uh, there was actually, while we're waiting for this to fill, a little funny thing that happened to me a few months ago at Walmart. So I'm at Walmart a couple of months ago, and um, we were just buying, the whip and I were there, we were just buying a couple doodads, knickknacks, and things like that. And basically, I said, hey, while we're here, let's go down the Turgeon aisle. And there were so many people in the Turgeon aisle, you could barely get down the thing. So I said, damn, I just gotta like stand here and wait. So what do you do when you're waiting like that? You, some people tap their toe, some people start fidgeting, millennials flip their fidget spinner around. <laughs> I started a song. Too many people in the turgeon aisle, in the turgeon aisle, 
in the Turgeon Isle. Too many people in the Turgeon Isle. They're the people that fly tide every day. Who are the people in your neighborhood? In your neighborhood, in your neighborhood. Say, who are the people in your neighborhood? The people that you meet each day. <laughs> <laughs> Works perfectly. And this is just a film along like always. Yep, so we have our turgeon on top here, and we'll see how the uh, Speen Queen does. It's the Speen Queen, remember that? <laughs> yes, the Speen Queen. And maybe just to change it up, since I do have the mic on the rig here, um, at one point maybe we'll plug it in for a clip, and we'll see how, see how it sounds that. on see the video, yeah. yeah. This is the new uh, microphone that I got, um, better than the other one, but... Uh, yeah, we'll see what it does. I don't know how anybody's going to like it, but we'll figure it out with your input. So, as soon as it's ready to go, we'll start going again. And we also have a little special device here today. My uh, my 60s or 70s Markel heater from downstairs, as you know. And I'm giving Jay the honors of using the mechanical switches to turn it on. The mechanical click switches. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. That'll be a minute or two for it to warm up in that. Give us that warm dynamic glow or something. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we are getting close. Yeah, just about there. And we'll see how the detergent does going in. Yeah, but no, no Amazon rainforest will harm in the operation of this machine. Jeff Bezos will be proud. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that Speed Queen, you know. That's maybe the one thing they did right with the TR series as well. They said, yep, gonna use full hot water. <laughs> Agreed, definitely. I don't like the auto temperature control online, but hey, I figured out a way to change and mirror around that. Yeah, or like, you know, those Maytag commercial machines, right? right? Those things are such pieces of junk. I mean, Kirk Rebus, he's an awesome uploader, by the way. He has a video on an older Maytag. He even shows the commercial Maytag. It's the flimmiest thing you've ever seen. Yeah. It's so bad. But that, that, that's nothing against Kirk. He makes great videos. I'm just talking about the machine itself. Okay, here we are washing away. And, you know, it's going to take a minute or so, but we should have yeah. some turnover. Oh, I can feel this thing with the load. Yeah, I know, you really can, right? Here. Yeah, I said that this time I wanted to do towels. See, we're almost down. A little more turgid there. Yeah. But this time I said I wanted to do towels if possible because we always do sheets. And it's like, you know, even a Milena washer can do sheets. Yeah, sheets can easily uh, be handled by that. Not that they'd actually get the shit stains out of them, but... No, you know, no, no. It is kind of wet, so I'm moving them away a little bit. Yeah, it's clean enough. Yeah, good enough. Got to be bonus of us. Cereal by me, new set. <laughs> and, and if you guys notice now, the tub is, um, I'm going to say it's its like 99% set in now, the, the brake. You can see it's not going anywhere. Trucker fart fucker will have a complaint about that. Yeah, maybe. So, uh, where's the green towel? Um, it, it's gone green. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> and then here comes the blue towel. That's why I use the green and the red towel. It's good to have some color variations here, you know? And I will say this, even if, I, like, it's been a, I haven't watched my video, older videos in a long time, I should. Even if the direct drive has a little bit faster turno turnover, one thing this agitator is doing with its 180 degree stroke and the fins, it's giving currents in the water. So even though it's not at the center yet, the towels are still getting, like, water currents through it. Yeah, so that the whole idea, I mean, they had different schools of thought when the automatic washer came to be. Yeah. One was push the water through the clothes, and the other was agitate take the clothes through the water. Exactly. So it's, you know, two, two you know, it's sort of like, um... Yeah, two, 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 two towels with, with one agitator. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, can't put a clip of that one in, folks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Susan would have a shit fit. <laughs> <laughs> and there's, there's the green towel. And the water's nice and sudsy, too. Maybe here's a shot of the heater. Now you can really feel the heat coming out of the thing. Oh yeah. 
And the fan sounds really good now too. So after running it for a while, after doing all that work I did on it, you guys may remember, it's uh, it's running beautifully. All right, so maybe we'll leave this for a bit, let it do its thing. We'll come back uh, a little bit later, maybe before it goes to Spindrain. Yeah, or maybe a little bit beforehand just to get some more shots. Oh, you know what? We can actually see the, that mark on the tub, like right there. I, nah, it's kind of hard to see with the light this time, but... Uh, but you can see these drips are from the water spout and the tub stopped indexing, so hey. Awesome. All right, we'll come back in, uh, in just a little bit. And as you can see, guys, here, just washing away. Here's the dark blue, light blue, and the reddish towel now. Going under, as you can see. And one thing we did do here off camera was we just paused the machine temporarily. I don't know how well it's coming on the video, but right there we have a little reflective piece. So what we're going to do is, um, especially during the second spin, which will be high speed, we're going to use um, Jay's um, digital tachometer here, and we're going to see how fast um, how fast the tub is going. I, I know Eugene from Lorraine Furniture did a video on that, I believe, and the, the uh, speed seemed to be pretty accurate as advertised, which was the, which was 710 RPM. So we're going to see how it does here, and um, yeah, I don't know how we'll it's going it to work on such a big uh, circumference. Yeah, it may or may not really register that well. Because uh, so I mean, we'll, we'll I, just try it. We're we're experimenting with this, so you know. Actually, th that also shows you the tub hasn't moved. It's still in the same spot. That's true. <laughs> And that's because, I mean, I think with this machine, this will go the same speed as the tub regardless, but I know with the direct drive, when you have, like, a lighter load, this doesn't spin as fast as the tub sometimes, so it's kind of hard to measure. So I just figured the tub might be the best way to go about it. We'll see if it works out. But, I mean, in case anyone has any doubts, like I said, Eugene from Lorraine Furniture did do a speed test on this. I believe it was him. I don't think it was Kirk Rivas. I'm pretty sure it was Eugene. Okay, but anyway, um, they did do a thing on here, and it did, it did show to be about 710, maybe a little bit higher, so it should be all good. And what do we have left here? We have 26 minutes. Okay, so in six more minutes, um, the wash should be uh, finished, then it will go do its first uh, spin drain. We just did a sharky fins on the machine. As you know. <laughs> and uh, what, what happened, if you notice, the sound is different. I have the microphone connected now. This is my new craptastic microphone. So I figure for the rest of this agitation, uh, we'll leave this microphone on and see how you like the sound from that. So go ahead and yeah, let's do it. kick it back on. So what do you think? Does the mic suck? I mean, for okay, me, from you, everything sucks. That's true. <laughs> I'm wondering if this will accentuate the basingness of the machine. You know what's cool? I mean, whenever you see the water go below the uh, second row of holes, you can see the water rush out. Yes. So, can't do that with a solid tub machine. <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> Less than one minute, probably. But you can see that they're not, they haven't turned over at all. No, I mean, this is really, and you know, and the machine also has. Almost like a woo-woo going on. Yeah, like the helical transmissions in the uh, older Maytags. Because I think the helical transmission Maytags were 180 degrees. You know, after Joe just said hello right there, you know? Yeah. Oh, man, that thing's sick. Yeah. It's like, no! <laughs> I know it's going to do just fine, but... Uh, oh, yeah, it should, oh, definitely. This thing is in labor. I'm shaking a little bit. Man, that thing's in labor. It's also on low speed, too, don't forget. Yes, that's true. Yeah. But, yeah, taking it like a champ. They do say one thing about the spin drains is it helps the water reach the top of the tub ring, so maybe it cleans it off. I don't know. I've never actually looked if it has or not. Nice color. 
Yeah, it looks kind of nice, doesn't it? See how it looks when it speeds up even more. Sharky and I did some laundry yesterday that was not recorded. He just had his you know, regular clothes in that. And it was nowhere near in labor like this. Yeah, definitely not. This is, wow. But it tells you, even with the water coming in, the, the drain pump is still more powerful and it's still speeding up. Here's the base. Reaching halt. Yeah, now the TR will still be done. No, no, it's still slowing down. Still slowing down, 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 down. Uh, okay, let's spin backwards now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're just about there for the rinse. That's some nice clean water. Now, fibers are more stiff with cold water, so we'll see if the tub can resist indexing here. We'll find out. Be under some labor there. It could be the side of the machine that happens sometimes. Or is it this? I don't know. You can see the inertia is definitely stronger. Oh, yeah. So it might be moving just a tad, but you can see it's moving less than it did in my response video. So it's definitely, um, definitely a lot set in more now. 
I'm, uh, let me take the camera here. Yeah, I'm sure. comparing the, uh, the mark here. Yeah, it is moving just a little bit, as you can see. Yeah, it actually is. Yeah. It's hard with the light to see that. And so it's, probably good, it's probably because of the cold water. The mark is back there, and it's going to eventually make its way. But it's... It's moving a lot less than it did, uh, like, a, couple, a few months ago. Yeah. So we're definitely just about there. But you can see they're still turning over just fine. Yeah, I can I can definitely feel the labors of this machine. Yeah, I know, right? Why do we wash towels? Aren't we clean when we use them? I know, right? <laughs> I know, it's moving. Wow. That's all the way over here. Yeah. But no, that's with towels, mind you. If it was like with bed sheets, it wouldn't move at all. Right. And momentarily, should be going to the other spin drain. Yeah, definitely under more labor when it's, when it's cold water. Definitely. Oh, well, that's pretty cold. Though it's not terrible. I'm sure it's around 60. But look at it just swish the, swish the towels around. How is that ever going to wash? I know, right? Oh, God. We need I mean, they, they've only, the machines have only been washing the clothes like this for the last, like, you know, 60 years. But yeah, it's... <laughs> no, a Muletta wash would do the job a lot better. Oh, yeah. No question. Tablespoon of water, you're good to go, man. <laughs> no, it's a cup of water. Eh, common core, same thing. That's true. Okay, now we're going to do the second spin drain on high speed. We'll also get the RPM gauge, just to see if it'll work. Mark. It's there. I can see it. Eighty one. Well, maybe we'll read. I'll look at that after this uh, drains out. Hear all the water going down the drain pipe. A little shaky. These bright color towels. The, the, the color assortion is really nice in here. Make it a little more inaccurate as it gets shaky, but we'll wow. find out. Jeez. <laughs> and you can tell because these are towels, it's taking a much longer time to get up to full speed. Oh, yeah. Because, like, you know, on this machine, the, the belt and the motor pulley act like the spin clutch on the direct drive. Reading 393, 403, it's going. It's stabilizing, too, so that helps. All right, I guess it will read on the tub. Nice. Still not there yet. What's the magic number again? 7 what? 710. I don't know if we'll quite hit that. We'll get pretty close. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess oh. maybe we will. Maybe even a little more. That is so balanced. Look at that. It's holding steady at 697 and change. 697? For a big heavy load like this, I'd say that's pretty spot on. Yeah, I mean seriously, like a, a difference of about 10 RPM is not going to make a difference. Yeah, and not to mention, you know, we're dealing with a Chinese meter, and again, yeah, I've never tested I, it. I, I, I will tell you, I will tell you guys this. I have felt like the belt after the machine finished spinning a load of towels, 
and the belt was cool to the touch, which means that they're not slipping at all. If the, if the, if the, if the pulley was, am I saying this correctly? If, if the pulley was slipping on the belt, am I saying that right? The belt would be slipping on the pulley. Okay, okay. If the belt was still slipping on the pulley, that belt would be hot by the time this cycle is done, but it hasn't been. It's always been cool to the touch. So it's definitely doing what it's supposed to. Yeah, 697. Yeah, like I said, 10, rock solid. 10 RPM is not going to make a difference. Well, the colors look really weird on the camera compared to in person. Yeah. The way the towels are, I think it's kind of throwing this, the color thing of the camera off or whatever. Yeah, 697 solid. There's no sense even keeping it on and pulling it. It's about as fast as it's going to go. Pretty awesome. Yeah, it took it. You know what's crazy? It's shaking a little bit, but in person. In, in person, but because of the image stabilization on the camera, it looks like the tub is completely, like, yeah, hardly you, shaking. Like, you don't see it. You can see the agitator shaking in person, but on the camera, it looks like it's totally still. And honestly, from the camera angle, this does look like cotton candy. <laughs> it actually does. Get the stick. I know, right? <laughs> How much time do we have left? Four minutes. Okay. Yep, so we'll come back in just a couple minutes then before it finishes. True millennial, what do you expect? Is that fish humor? <laughs> hey, I just got a new washer. Want to take it for a spin? There you go. Okay. Hey, it's got casters on the bottom. Let's go down the block. <laughs> Just like that, it stops. <laughs> My goodness. My goodness. Well, it certainly did it, but uh, that made some sounds I've never heard. Oh, I've heard it before, definitely. Well, well, you, 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 you know, you swim here. I mean, <laughs> exactly. Oh my. So, uh, just just for funsies, let's uh, start loading these in the dryer, and we'll close the video out from there. Show, show. All right, so let's load these in. One thing my mom always told me when I was a kid was that, you know, like when it's lumped up like this, it may not dry as much. So you just kind of like, you know, shake it out like that. And I've always done that at Jay's place, and it always gives him a chuckle for whatever reason. I don't know why. It's just funny. I mean, hey, it gets the job done. It does get the job done, and it makes perfect sense. So your, your mom's certainly not wrong on that. Ah, she knew what she was talking about. She told me how to do laundry, basically. Many, many years ago. <laughs> well, that's when they had real machines. You didn't have to do a damn thing. The machine did all the work <laughs> she did for you. you. Yeah, especially because <laughs> it was a direct drive back then. Exactly. <laughs> this is pretty good all together. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we'll get these loaded in. Hey, these feel nice and dry too. I hear you. Just hang them over the heater. Nice and dry instantly. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. You know, 
these towels are nice for like showers and everything. Shake it. Shake it real good. Dun 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 ba da da Push it real good. Best stuff about Whitney Houston. <laughs> right? Okay. And that's the last one. And then we'll see how the dryer sounds when we start it. You'll see if it really goes into labor there. Um. Probably not. Probably just we, like a quick second, and that's about it. Off camera, what we did is, huh. you know, as it was spinning, we actually felt in, you know, with the towel spinning around like that, and Sharky took his hand, uh, I'm sorry, his fin out. Yep. It's, I'm sorry, it, it's a <laughs> problem being human. Did you just assume my body parts? <laughs> no, your species. My species. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we felt that, and he's like, it's it's like dry already. I'm like, what? What? I felt it, and I came out, I'm like, what the hell? Pretty good, huh? Holy crap! <laughs> yeah! For big, thick towels like that. So anyway, here they are in the uh, drying machine. Mm -hmm. Or should we call it the, the drying machine? Yeah, the, the drying machine, right? Hello, viewers. And just, uh, you know, a bounce sheet like I always do. That's in. That's so where you can get your Easter bunny on. Exactly. Uh, lint filter's clean, okay. And um, for, for towels, for thick towels like these, I'll do time dry, 60 minutes, and high. And then hit start. No problem with that. No. <laughs> and you can kind of hear the flat spots on the rollers, but that goes out as it runs. Yes, yes. And then the igniter just came on, and in a second we'll hear the burner ignite. There we go. Yep, indeed. So that's going to wrap up this wash day wash in 6.0 with JK18 at Sharky 626's place. You know how it goes. <laughs> indeed. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit like. Make sure you hit subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.